Hello, I'm Mixed Mars and Merman, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I picked up this off of eBay. Now, I paid quite a bit for this machine in the grand scheme of things, but it's going to be worth a lot much more. And you know what? It's quite a tidy machine. This machine, in my opinion, hasn't done no work at all. Um, it's a 2021 model. And the reason I picked it up is a gentleman said he left the fuel on it last winter and the drive on this uh, mower packed up after six months of use. Now, technically, this machine is still pretty much under warranty because um, it comes with a three-year warranty on this machine. So why didn't he put, just put it in for warranty? I don't know. But what he's saying is um, it doesn't start and the drive doesn't work on it either. Now, well, whilst I was over uh, picking this machine up, I did take some carburetor spray with me, just get a quick little squirt of carburetor spray and the machine fired up and ran. But it takes about uh, three or four pulls to actually start the machine. I have had it started here. I'm trying to start it now. I have had it, have had it running prior to videoing. So it starts that first pull. But tomorrow, that would take four or five pulls, something like that, to get it running. So it needs a quick little carburetor clean. And I believe the machine will then run um, and start first time. But the drive, you can feel it does want to work. It's a bit clicky, a bit, a bit, a bit snappy. Let me just show you. If we engage the drive, it, do, it does want to move. That, that roller is moving. See, see, it's trying to go. See how it's trying to move? That's not me pushing it. Got a bit of flat ground. It, it, it really is trying to go. So it's got two faults with it. 2021 Mountfield Steger. Um, let me show you around, show you how clean it is, because it is really, really clean. And uh, hopefully, it'll do someone. Because as I say, I looked at it on a on eBay, and I thought, oh, I can't let that go. Look how clean this machine is. It's done next to nothing. All I had done is just wash it off. That's all I have done. So it's super duper clean, and the drive belt on it, I have already looked, and the drive belt is on the pulley at the top, and it's a brand new belt, or, or, or as new belt, so the belt has done nothing. So what we're gonna be doing, first video, quick little carburetor clean uh, on this machine. So it starts um, and runs pretty much first pull. Because I say it is a 2021, as it says so, right on the tin just there. So yeah, super happy with that. Really clean machine. Let's get a quiet carburetor clean done. Can't use the shed today because I've got the robotic mower up on the up on the lift table. So can't use that. So it's gonna be a down and dirty carburetor clean in the backyard. Into the shed I go. Now I want to find my impact with a 10 mil socket on it. Uh, there it is there. I'm going to need a set of forceps. I'm going to need my filing tools, probably a flathead screwdriver, and that should do it. Maybe a couple of rags. That should be us. So if you've got a lawnmower, which is being a bit of a pickle to start, then this video could be the one for you. So as I say, it's going to be a quick down and dirty video. I haven't done a down and dirty for ages. So all we're going to do is get you guys into shop. Let's put you somewhere like that. HT lead off first, guys. Safety first, you know me. Safety first, air filter off. Good as gold. Two 10 mils. Whiz them off. So hopefully if I can get this lawnmower to actually uh, start as it should do, then if I can sort the of drive out, it will be a really, really good machine. So this is an auto choke feature on here. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what this is like from cold because um, I'm not make sure that is actually choking. Sometimes they don't, they don't choke all the way. So it might just want a little bit of uh, grease on there. And that comes over. Yeah, that should choke. Yeah. So I'm gonna remove the little tiny cable clip on the fuel line. I've got a pair of forceps, I should have bought a pair of pliers with me really. Yeah, might be enough. So I'm just gonna pull that fuel line off. That's not gonna come. Ooh, yeah, it will, put my finger over it. And just get my, it's got a full tank of juice in there and all. Put my forceps on. Move it out of the way so we don't get no drippage. Best we can. And then, I'll go a pair along those pliers guys because uh, I need a pair. So it's automatic, it's automatic choke, so it should start first pull. And being 2021, it's not a very old machine at all. And uh, given that it's not done no work, 
but I've, the main reason I bought it was because it said um, it's uh, the gearbox or the, the drive stopped after six months. That just doesn't ring true to me. That just doesn't ring true. So pull the throttle, throttle all the way forward and remove a little tiny bar there. Yeah, that should lift off of there. Just straight off like that. Just remember how that goes. It just sits in there like that, guys, okay? I put that to one side out of the way. We'll draw the carby. Little gasket there that can come off nice and gently. Take the carby off. And there's a carby. How quick was that? Super duper quick. Right, onto the lawn. Quick little clean. Right, so a quick little knows it's carby then. So he said he left the fuel in from last year. Tip off onto its side, drain the fuel out onto the rag, under the first nut, drop the bowl off. No, it's really, really, there's a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of dirt right at the very, very base of that carby. A little bit of grass in there, you see it? Really small amount, but that's good. We'll give it a clean with a bit of a WD-40 in a minute. And then we've got a little tiny float pin. We're gonna remove that, take the float off. And all I wanna do is just grab the uh, jet out of, uh, out of here. So all I wanna do, so a flatted screwdriver goes in and just want to remove that jet if that's the right size screwdriver make us is that going to come or not let's have a look is that moving i don't think it is no wrong size screwdriver so let me go and get another screwdriver on the yellow handle one that's the best one for the job there it is just there so i'm guessing it's just literally where it's had the old fuel left in it over the winter, that fuel's gone a little bit, a little bit dirty, dirty but birdie. That's better. Cool. Is it coming? Cool. That was tight, man. That was really tight. I thought it was going to snap for a minute. But I've got it. So all we're going to do is unscrew that main jet, tap that out. There goes the main jet, just here, and then inside the carby open the old choke up with a little tiny emulsion tube now you can't see this one it's just literally just inside the throat of a car a little tiny brass bit sticking up just about there so a bit of a tap there it goes got it lovely uh low idle circuit i'm here to do to screw this one out i love doing a down on dirty down on dirty carburetor clean with mr mixed mowers Screwdriver in there, just prise that slow idle circuit up. Now that'd be the one we have to drill out. That'd be the one that's causing a few problems. There's a little bit of dirt in there, not a great deal though. So, I'm gonna grab my needle files. Is next. And you get those on eBay. If you look in my comment section under tools that I use, you'll find these in the comment section. Okay, so grab your needle file and just rim that jet out. Now that's a little bit too big, Mick. Oh, no, that'd go. Yeah, that'd go. Oh, it is a little bit too big. I don't want to make it too big because it'll run really lean, really rich. So here's one. So just run that in there. Quick little clean on there. I'm happy with that. Yeah, nice big hole in there now. And do exactly the same with the emulsion tube. Just a quick little blast through. Every single hole. Just run it through. Make sure you're getting all the all the holes clean. Now sometimes I've got the one up here at the top here as well, so make sure I get some poke as well. So anywhere where there's a hole, stick it in it. It, it isn't rocket science. All right, that's all we're doing. Clean all these holes up. Now that looks pretty good to me. I dare say the problem's gonna be with this one here. Let me get my micro drill bits and we drill this one out. And that will make all the difference. All right, got my micro drill bits. I'm gonna get the smallest one. Out of the old drawer. I poke that into, oh yeah, that's blocked. I run it all the way in and back out again. Yeah, that's blocked, guarantee it. There you go. So this is the slow idle circuit jet here, the little, plas little plastic one. The, the thinnest drill bit you've got, micro drill bit, that goes in there. A little bit of white's just come out of there. And if that one's blocked, 
and you can have a real problem starting this machine. Okay, so that's done. As far as I'm concerned, the carburetor has now been um, serviced with regards to its main features. Now, all I'm going to do now, a bit of WD 40 spray, just anywhere where there's a hole in this carb, I'm going to put this carburetor spray through it just to make sure we're pushing out any foreign objects that are inside this carby. That's it. That's good. That'll do. So now, emulsion tube can go in, and it goes with a narrow end in, in first. Stick that in. Get your jet. That goes in with a flat head facing upwards. Grab your screwdriver. So you can do this on your lawn. You know, you've got a workshop like me, but you've got a dicky lawn mower. Service of carb. Makes all the difference. Slow running jet goes in this side here. And only going one way, because there's a little tiny flat bit just here where it stops. It has to go perpendicular. So stick it in. Seal it all the way down. And just turn it around just a smidge. It's not quite gone in square. Just want to just turn it, that's better. A flat headed screw goes in the hole just there next door to it. And wind that in so you've got three, about three threads poking out the back side of that. That's all you want. About three threads. Let's have a look here. Coming through. One, two, three threads is fine. That's good. We can now get our float, which looks fantastic, with a needle. Stick that back in its home. The needle pin. Stick that back in. Now, I'm going too fast for you. I mean, just pause the video. Do what you've got to do and then come back, yeah? But I've probably done about 25,000 million carburetors in my lifetime. Get the float bowl. I just make sure, I always say in every video, you've got two bolts on these float bowls, one at the bottom, one on the side. One on the side goes opposite to the, um, to the feed-in pipe. Stick that float, that gasket, gasket down to about there. That looks lovely, something like that. And then just want to do up that little tiny 10 mil there. I just whiz it up with my impact, but I'll just tighten it up with a flat end, with a socket in a minute. Impact on number one, it just squeezes it down. To there. I'll tighten that up later. And that's it, carburetor cleaned. How quick was that? If I can do it, you can do it. Right, so back on the mower. We're gonna, now just going to refit this, this carby back onto the mower. So just slide your, your carby on. You've got your throttle gasket to put on, a throttle governor arm to put on. That one's this one here. So slide him on first, that's gone on, and then your, your auto choke, that sits in the hole, and then this little tiny piece here comes around, just clips onto it, that's all it does. All right, push it in, and you see that's already, that's already choking there, let's see how, how that's, that's cooled down the other side, the auto choke, that's cooled down. So that's choking now. We can now fit our fuel line on, release the fuel, and bring your fuel clip into place, like so. I turn the, I put the fuel back on because as I'm doing this carburetor to pull it back together, I'll double check I've not got no leaks, that's the idea. I've got a little tiny gasket to put on. Just make sure your gasket goes on right, guys. You've got two holes here, three holes here, one, two, three. And it should line up with what you've got on the carby. See how it all lines up? Make sure they line up. Sometimes, sometimes they drop. And if they drop, then it may not uh, it may not feed right. I need to put my crankcase breather pipe on, which goes at the back end just here. That's got to go onto there, a little tiny hole. So sit him on first, that goes in, lovely. And then your air box, that pipe there, don't worry, that pipe there, it's got to go on that pipe there, okay? So just loosely fit that to begin with, so you, just so you know it's in position. Once you've got it into position, you can then make sure the gas doesn't fall off, you can then fit your whole carburetor back on. You've got two nuts to put back on now with your impact. And that's for car be serviced. So, did this gentleman throw away a lawnmower because the carburetor needed cleaning? Or did he throw it away because the drive no longer works? And it was the drive that he actually wanted to work. So, in the next video, I'm going to show you if the drive can or not be saved. I'm hoping it can. Now, if it doesn't, and I've got, I've got a... If you get a new gearbox for that, that's going to take a lot of money to put a new gearbox in because it would be probably a general, a general transmissions gearbox. Or I could just convert to a push mower. But there'll be another video coming out on this soon. 
to see if I can or can't actually save the drive system on this. Hopefully I can, and if I have, I'm in, in, in with a golden, golden ticket, because I've got a pretty much brand new machine. As I say, it ain't done a lot of work, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So let me get it repositioned. We'll try and start this machine up, see if it doesn't um, start first time. It should do now, and uh, we'll go from there. H Chile guys must go back on before you pull it, though. So it's been about 15, 20 minutes since I last started this machine up. So it should now start first pull. And beforehand, um, in the mornings, it was starting uh, third or fourth, fourth or fifth pull. And that's the reason why the bloke threw it away in the first place is because it was just taking too many pulls to start it. But as I say, I did a spray some carburetor cleaning in when I picked it up and it started first pull and it ran. So the bloke was quite shocked that uh, I just got the machine to run just with a bit, a bit of carburetor spray. But I did say to him, that hasn't fixed the problem, it's just got around it. So dead man's handling, it's been about 20 minutes, as I say, let's see if it starts first pull, it should do. Patch on first, maybe. Second pull, that's already improved it. But what I'm gonna do, I'll pause the video here and I'll come back tomorrow morning and I'm gonna start this machine from cold tomorrow morning and we'll see how it then starts uh, tomorrow morning. So. Don't take it upon that because you may think, oh yeah, it's only started 10 minutes ago, Mick. Let's come back tomorrow morning and try and start it again then. Right, the next day is promised. This lawnmower had a carburetor clean on it yesterday and the drive also fixed on it as well. Hopefully now it will start a bit better when it was beforehand. It was starting about fifth or sixth pull last time, so hopefully now. First pull. And drives. <laughs> 